Good day, this is Sir Paya. Welcome back to my channel. Sa mga bago pa lang, don't subscribe my channel and press the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga latest upload ko. So this time, gagawa tayo ng tutorial on how to connect the program to MySQL database using NetBeans IDE. So first, create muna tayo ng project. A new project. And then, under the Java folder, then select natin yung Java application. Then, the project name, sample student profile or profiling system. Click the finish button. Ayan. So, automatic yung project na ginawa natin is nag-add dito sa uh, project window. Okay. And then, dito makikita natin yung library. Ayan. So, add lang natin yung library para sa MySQL yung provider niya para magkaroon ng connection between the MySQL at saka yung Java program natin. Browse na natin. Then we have the MySQL DDBC driver and add library. So, automatic nag-add na po sa library natin. Ayan. And then dito, gawa tayo ng um, isang frame. Like for example, the G-frame. Ayan. So, yung class name niya is, um, nilagyan ko ng login. Okay. So, dito sa baba, lagay lang tayo ng level. So, sa level, so, change lang natin yung text niya. Level status. Add tayo ng another level. Ayan. So, by default, this connected. Ayan. So, login yung ginawa ko kasi gagamitin natin para sunod natin na tutorial. Ayan. Then, change natin yung color niya. Magawin natin color green. Okay. So, disconnected yung status niya. Then, change natin yung name. Yung variable name niya. Yeah, the LBL status. Okay. Then, add tayo ng button. For kahit hindi na button, so, dito na lang sa sa source niya. Ayan. So, dito na lang natin ilagay yung connection natin pag load ng ating project. Okay. And then, import tayo ng project or reference with the import java.sql asterisk. Ayan. So, itong reference na SQL, so dito natin dito natin magagamit yung mga yung, yung connection, yung res, uh, result set, pag query natin yung statement, saka yung preferred statement sa pag-insert, pag-update, at sa pag-delete ng data um, na galing sa database. Okay. Tapos, declare tayo dito ng connection. Ayan. Then, we have the connection. Then, yung variable na gamitin natin is CN. Okay. And then, pagkatapos, dito, so, gawa tayo ng connection connection method we have the uh, public void get connection and then sa connection natin is so dito natin ilagay yung connection ng um, database natin we have the exception x Okay, so pag hindi siya connected, of course, mag-error siya. So, i-cut siya. Then, ilagay natin doon sa LBL status na ginawa natin kanina. That uh, set text. Ayan. Ilagay natin dito is disconnected. Or, yung message niya, ex.getMessage. So, ayan. Okay. 
Okay. Dito, may ginawa na akong database under sa root username natin. So, meron akong ginawa nitong database na DB Student. So, ito po yung gagamitin natin. Ayan. And then, we have the class that uh, for name and then yung driver natin we have the com that mysql that ddbc that driver ito po yung driver natin and then um go to the connection we have the cn and then the driver manager and then that get a uh, connection Ayan. And then, yung URL natin. So, yung URL natin is uh, GDBC and then we have the MySQL then the localhost. So, localhost kasi yung server natin. Ayan. Kung naka-network kayo, so yung IP address or the computer name, yung ilagay nyo doon sa localhost. Then, we have the 33 um, 06, yung port natin at saka yung name ng ating database so dito is meron tayong db student so yung db student yung ilagay natin db student ayan and then yung um, user id natin so kung may ginawa kayong user id so yung ginawa nyo user id yung, yung, yun, yun, yun yung ilagay nyo dito ayan so since kanina so yung default lang niya sa localhost yung yun yun yung ginamit ko so ayan so root lang kasi yung ginamit ko and then dito is yung password so by default hindi ko siya nilagyan ng password so, ayan so kaya naka empty lang siya pero pag nakasit may nakasit kayo ng password like for example dito sa 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 um dito sa user ko So, kung, kung naka-network ako, so, ito yung ginagamit ko, yung Sirpaya. Ayan. Yung, ito yung user ID ko. At saka yung um, localhost ko or yung server name ko is hindi yung localhost, kundi yung IP address ko or the computer name ko. Ayan. Tapos, dito is makita natin kung may password siya or wala. So, since root yung ginamit ko, so, nakalagay dito is no password. So, meaning hindi ko siya nilagyan dito ng password. Okay? Ayan. So, try natin LBN status and then we have the sit text and then we have the connected. Ayan. Okay, so, try natin di parang yung program. Okay. So, hindi pa natin siya natawag. Dito sa default um, class name natin, tawagin lang natin si login. We have the new login. Then, we have the seat um, visible. Set natin to true. Okay. Then, run natin. Ayan. So, disconnected yung status niya. So, hindi pa natin siya nalagay dito sa uh, constructor. Lagay natin sa constructor, git connection. Ayan. Run natin. So, unstable driver. So, medyo may mali sa driver. Um, GDB, GDB, it is GDBC, not GBDC. So, may mali kasi dito. So, this is GDBC. Ayan. Then, run natin. Ayan. So, connected na yung ginawa nating um, connections from Java to MySQL database. Okay, so sa next tutorial natin is uh, paano tayo gumawa ng login form at paano natin i-access yung data na galing sa database papunta doon sa or papunta dito. 
yung i-validate niya with yung user ID or your username at, at saka yung password is valid or not valid. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you for listening.